if you would have asked me right now what is your top three favorite consoles of all time i would definitely say it's going to be the playstation 2 i'm definitely going to say it's going to be an xbox 360 but i'm also going to say it's the nintendo switch for me personally i know a lot of people might go for something else but i think the nintendo switch even though with like the hardware limitations that it has it's not being the most insane console out there it doesn't give us like um like 4k 144 hertz gaming experience as all the people want it is still one of my most favorite consoles of all time and we are at the end of this console right now which is um kind of awesome it's like it's all gonna slow down the games like we, we see this year we're not getting a lot of amazing games we're getting paper mario the thousand year door which is a remake we got super mario rpg um princess peach is a new game but it's kind of not like a mainline game so um it, it's slowing down right now they're all going to prepare for the next switch to pro whatever it's going to be called i hope it's going to be called switch because I, I don't mind that name it's nice and i kind of want to take this video to go over what i would most like to get on a new switch and i know there's a lot of uh, videos and and articles out there and and tweets or x's i don't know how to call them these days um with leaks and with rumors about what's going to be on the next switch i'm going to keep calling it the next switch because it's most likely to be it um and and I, i'm probably going to disregard like most of them except for one which is the screen it's probably not going to be an oled i think that's kind of a solid rumor already um or a leak i don't know what it is uh but yeah i, I think that's the most solid one so that's the one that we're going to take into consideration with what i would like to see and it's going to be probably like a five five item list that i would most like to get on the next switch so the first thing is i would like to have the same form factor as the switch what it is right now so kind of not a change but uh, the one thing that i would love to have changed about it is mainly to do with the joy cons is i would love to have halifax uh, sticks on there because i i think i've I, i've changed my sticks for about eight times and the ones that i have on here right now don't drift yet but it might happen i try to keep them as clean as possible but it could always happen I, I went for the gully kid once which i put them in felt really nice but unfortunately i had a defective pair so i sent those back and then i put some old ones in that i kind of fixed up and those are still working right now i really like those but i think if they can change that would be really nice i might also be like a big saver on cost for them because yeah the extended warranty in fixing this problem is just insane to me uh should not have happened in the way that it did like so much for everybody and then the other thing that i would probably change and that's also joycon related is that um I, I like the overall form factor i like the 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 the, the, the switch is hybrid that's really awesome and i don't want to change that i think that's the best part about the switch as well but i would like to have a little bit of a more bulkier joycon i know what uh, the 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 main thing is with the joy cons like you can take them off you can give yourself one part of the joy con and you can give the other joy con to somebody else so you can play together i never really do that the people around me that have switches I don't do that um like we have switch lights over here and we don't run into that problem ever so um, change it up a little bit maybe give the um, the sticks a bit of an off center for like a better grip so you can have it doesn't need to be that big right like just a couple of millimeters and you can just offset it a little bit the sticks from the buttons that would be really nice and then give it some bulk so you can hold it properly because after like a long gaming session my hands started hurting and a while ago i bought the skull and gold grip i got my switch right here like uh, no sponsorship or whatsoever though but i really love this I can put my switch in the uh, dock and that's no problem right there and this might be a little bit too bulky right but this is, this is like the best grip on there if, if you have it you need this grip but maybe something like this right and that's these ones these are really small ones and they already make such a big difference i i didn't get the the case with this the big case but 
if i get like a smaller one and i'm gonna take my switch with me i'll probably put these on like it's not that big but it it just makes it so much more pleasant to hold the switch for a longer period right what also would be really nice if we you look at the body i know that the oled screen is already a little uh, a little bit bigger but if we can just you know decrease the bezel size even more. like the body doesn't need to get any bigger it might be a little bit bigger but if we can get like a bigger screen on there and that's the part where i'm gonna be like it's probably not gonna be an oled screen which is kind of a shame because it looks really good i don't have an oled myself but i've seen them and they look really amazing um but getting a bigger screen would be really nice not too big because it's always all about power consumption as well when you take it on the go but just a tad bit bigger would be really nice and i think the next point for me is the same as for everybody like hardware wise it needs to be in and then i go more personally in a sweet spot where again battery life isn't as drained as much as you see in um i think i've seen videos about the lg legion about it like i know it's not a switch it's it's more it's a steam deck but then better um but i've seen like if you play newer games on there heavier graphics it does drain the battery way quick though like so bad um so I, I would like to get a couple of hours on the go with the switch and that would be really nice but i would also like it to be um so good that we get at least stable fps games because I, I love the switch but you notice that some of the hardware is just holding it back and um like if i look at mario i've never had any problems with mario odyssey it just runs really nice really good um i think the same as with um zelda tears of the kingdom and breath of the wild there are some dips in there but overall it runs really well but i would like to get those dips out of there and like one of my all-time favorite games for the switch is animal crossing new horizon and you would say you would you would think that that game would run perfectly it's not a fast-paced game um it is just simple farming going around doing daily tasks and everything but as soon as you like put i would say a decent amount of stuff on your island in in a certain spot and i have some of those places in my island right now you just notice that it starts tanking in frames though it just you, you just <laughs> you go really smoothly and then you run past that area and it's like they're like oh jesus i need to fix this like i need to take the custom pathing out i need to take some of the boots out some of the, the things laying around let me just clean it up a little bit more and I, I would love for the next switch to be um not needing off those dips anymore because it it feels like it's so unnecessary for for a lot of the games that i play to have those dips and if you if you look at like the, the the breath of the wild i didn't have a lot of problems with dips in that game fps dips um and it's already 30 fps so i would rather be like and that's also like camp that i am in i'd rather have 1080p maybe on the go 900 i don't care too much about that but give me higher fps and more stable fps and if you can get that for me awesome let's go and i'm probably gonna contradict myself a little bit with the next point but um that has to do with the duck of the switch I, I don't mind the duck it's nice enough it's functional enough but if you buy a new switch give us a normal functioning dock as we have right now right but if people are really into their game they want to up it up a level want to have another dock um or like uh the, the like the, the main tv section the, the family room or whatsoever that you want to play at maybe give us some sort of a product that we can buy and with pro i mean um maybe really fancy but that could actually upscale the the resolution a bit to um a little bit above 1080 and give us a little bit of higher fps or more stable fps on the games so it looks a little bit better when you're playing duck and it just feels a little bit smoother when you duck uh, not a lot please smoother but i can do it higher resolution when it's duck 
but I also would love to see something like new with the duck that we haven't seen as um, maybe it has five extra slot in the front or the back of the dock where you can put game cartridges in and that if you dock your switch you get access to those game cartridges so if you um love to play the next mario on the go you can just put it in the switch and you can go but if you love to play the next mario kart with with, with family or just with, with friends around and you don't really play it on the go put it in the dock and just dock the switch and you have access to that game right away i think that would be a really fun extra thing and maybe also like maybe some extra ports for for usb or um even a bigger fan so your switch can run really cool when it's in the dock itself i think that would be really nice this might be my weirdest point out that i made <laughs> my next point will be software related i guess and that is one thing that i'm missing right now a lot on my switch and i think a lot of people are as well and um i can't remember where it started but like playstation had it i don't think xbox had it but it had changeable backgrounds though i know that but um at least the playstation 4 had teams give us themes for games give us dynamic themes give us um just just static themes give us backgrounds let us customize our experience on the switch itself i think that would be really nice and i, I wouldn't mind spending like three euros for a normal static theme for from from mario or zelda where it just stay, changes the logos or like not the logos but the icons matching the game like zelda zonai stuff mario maybe some cappy stuff and it was the odyssey i think that like i would pay for that and i would pay a little bit more if it was dynamic theme give me a dynamic theme for animal crossing icons are are bells and 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 everything uh tom nook related give me um fun stuff give me a cool background that changes from the day and night cycle but also changes into uh spring summer uh fall and winter like that would be really awesome i, I would pay for that but i think a lot of people would pay for that and that just would well switch up <laughs> the experience for the switch itself and i think if the next one has that that would be really really awesome i would love to have that and i would also love to see some some menu music make its return because the nintendo we introduced it and then they took it away from us and that's unfair because it was so good i love that right and my last point is definitely going to be a good friend slash party system because what it is right now it is terrible it is not good if you want to talk with friends while playing Mario Kart, you got to go on your phone, on the app, and then... I've never tried to probably go into a party right there on the Nintendo app. No. It, if I'll do that, I'll probably go on Discord because that's way easier than going on my phone to the Nintendo app, and I'm already on Discord. But I want an in-system app for that stuff. And I kind of... Like I kind of can figure out why they haven't done it because they're really protective of their ecosystem and what goes on inside of that system. Um, and I wouldn't mind having like Discord on the Switch, but I'm pretty sure that won't happen because again, what I just said, they're really protective of it. But at least give us something like what we have with the 360. Give us a good party system that if I want to play Mario Kart with my friends or Mario Party, that I can just go on the switch, hook up my earbuds, get into a party and play it on the go, go outside. Don't be in front of my PC because if I like barely ever on my, on discord, on my, on my, on my phone, like I don't like that. And they, they really fucked up the app though, but I'll be on my PC and I don't want to sit behind my PC hand out on my switch. I, I have the kind of luxury that I could I could easily put it on my screen. But a lot of people don't have that luxury, I think. And I think it would really benefit the entire system for Switch to have it on there because it is possible. 
like right now maybe it's hardware limitation um but then again if we get newer newer hardware it should be possible especially if they just integrate it into the system and don't have like a discord app on the the switch um because like i've seen people use their steam deck and and game and be on discord on the steam deck while they're gaming so like if it's in-house it could definitely definitely work and I'm, I'm like they can make it work it needs like it's that's one thing that's really needed for me on the next switch a party system because that's insane that we didn't get it with an update or something for the switch on the console itself yeah yeah insane that's what we need nintendo definitely give that to us and it's also possible because i've seen it in fortnite that like that the, the aux cable is able to send mic input to it as well and i've heard people talk when i tried fortnite on the switch oh it is possible yes it is do you agree with my points i'm kind of wondering like do you agree with my points and what i would like to have and if you don't agree let me know if you agree let me know if i miss something that like you are like this needs to be on that switch right now let me know in the comment section down below i would love to have a like on this video subscribe if you would like to see more and i'll be back in the next video y'all later